pass it all the way through. Now, <laughs> let's go ahead and bring in uh, Jack Washer. And Jack, I think you're happy. Very happy. That you have very to be happy. out there in so, the good thank, weather. Again, thank you, thank you. Thank yeah, you. you can pay me an ice cream. I will. I, well, I, we already I, did. I, <laughs> yeah, seriously, I'll pay you further. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, yo, exciting things tonight. Yes, exciting things, uh, not only for Penn State football, for, for Penn State uh, women's basketball. The Lay Lions introduce Carolyn Keeger. A new era has begun. The six. Uh, coach and program history, and we were able to seek a way and talk with her one on one. And talking with her, she's ready to hit the ground running. And so, here's part of that interview, of course, introduced by athletic director Sandy Barber. Sandy? Penn State Nation, you all are in for a real treat, and we are in for incredible success ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor to introduce Carolyn Keeger as the sixth head coach in Penn State Lady Lion history. You played at Marquette, you had success. You went to Miami, you went back to your alma mater, you had success as a head coach. How hard was it to leave your alma mater? It was extremely hard. You know, it's a place that is really near and dear to my heart and uh, one that will always be. And uh, my, my pride in, in that place runs really deep. Um, however, this was is a great opportunity. You know, Sandy has tremendous leadership, and uh, I think we share the same vision of what this place can be in terms of an elite women's basketball program in the country and it's something that I've always wanted to be a, a part of and, and in charge of. All right, say with me on this, do you think that you are a millennial? No, I'm not. You're not a millennial. No, I am. I am. I'm just kidding. So, but like, like seriously, like how do you think that kind of helps um, you know, relating to to players and to future players that you recruit? I think it helps, you know, uh, relating to how they grew up in terms of the technology, in terms of uh, what they've been exposed to uh, basketball-wise and, and how the game has changed and uh, just, you know, social media, uh, whatever it may be, um, cultural aspects. So for, for us, I'm also the coach that, you know, loves to have fun with my players and I love to be involved with what they're into and, and know who they are as people, not just basketball players. So I think that helps build those relationships up. Uh, what is your message to uh, Nittany Nation, the Lady Lion fan base, um, who is desperate and hungry yeah. to get back to where they once were? Well, first and foremost, I just want to say I'm going to give it my all. Uh, I'm going to give you everything I have inside of me, and, and I'm hoping I get the same in return from the community. And my goal is to make uh, Bryce Jordan Center a place that people fear coming to and, and a place that is a staple. And when you look at women's college basketball environments that they look to Penn State and, and they look at us and the model that we created and and then at the end of the day hopefully they're at Final Four is helping us cut down nets. Yeah you know you know uh, Keeger uh, very very sharp in terms of you know how she presents herself and to fill up Bryce Orton Center again because attendance is down right now um, you know there's not a much buzz, but with her, you could kind of feel it. And there's some the alumni that were back today are excited about where the direction that the program is headed in. I'm excited too. It yeah. sounds really good, and yeah. uh, the Lions will be back at BJC, yes. but the Lions.